Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to get all the glitched pants and joggers in GTA 5 online. So this includes the regular joggers, the cargo joggers, Gorka joggers and also the Tron pants. So I hope you do enjoy the video. If you do, a like would be much appreciated. Anyway though, we'll get straight into the video. So I'll start off the video by showing you how to get all the glitched cargo joggers. So to start off the video, you want to come to any clothing store on the map first of all. Uh, make sure you put all your money into your bank, so just have a decent amount of money, uh, but make sure you put it in your bank. And then from here, you want to equip the outfit you would like to keep, uh, because it will delete all your saved outfits. So equip whichever one you want to keep. And then just go ahead and delete all your saved outfits, as they will be deleted regardless. Uh, but by doing this, it makes it just a bit easier and simpler. From here though, you want to just open up your pause menu, go to online, head down to swap character. In this section here, uh, you will need to ma make sure your main character is on the left slot and it is a male, uh, otherwise it won't work. And then from here, in the second slot, make a new female character. Also, accept this alert if you get it. Then in this editing section, just make sure it is a female and then hit save and continue. Name it anything and then take a photo and you should load into a public session. Quickly, I do just want to let you guys know if you guys would like any of your own modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, be sure to head over to MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and you can also boost your current account with tons of money and RP. And with over 9,000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page, they are by far the most highly reputable modders. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Feel free to use code TJRH for 5% off your order. Now when you spawn in, you want to open up your map, check to see if you have any clothing stores. If you do, just go to one. However, if you do not, you will have to find a new session. Now at a clothing store, just go inside and then you want to go to the back right of the store onto the accessories menu. From here, just take off any accessories on your outfit, so usually they come with earrings, so take those off. And then from here, you want to go onto gloves, and then equip the light woodland armoured. So head up to the light woodland armoured, and equip these here. Then after you have those, you want to go to the pants section. Now over here, go onto sports pants, and you want to equip the spotted muscle pants. Then head over to shoes. Now on shoes you want to go onto the high heel boots. Then head down to the deluxe midnight combat boots. So equip these here. And after you have those, you want to go onto the top section. Now on tops, head down to work jackets. And you want to purchase the Peach Camo Closed Field. So down here, the Peach Camo Closed Field, equip this. Once you guys have that, you want to head down to the Gun Running T-shirts. And then go for the last one, so the Blue Digital T-shirt, number 60. This one here. The Blue Digital T-shirt. And then you want to go ahead and save this in slot number 2. So like I said, just save it to slot number 2, and then just name it the same as I do. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but uh, it just makes it easier. Just name it Cargos or whatever. Um, and from here, take the easy way out using your interaction menu. So what that does is it forces the game to save, and then from here, open up your pause menu, and then start up Creator. Now in this creator menu, hit create a race, and then you want to make a new land race. And then the title, description, and the photo, they don't matter, so they can be anything. What does matter though is you need to set the max players to 3, and then set the route up to point to point. From here, if you want to, you can choose a supercar just to uh, make it quicker. And then from here, you want to warp to the airport, so press A, or whatever button it is for PlayStation, just to warp over to the airport. And then you want to place the trigger anywhere, take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. 
Now you need to place checkpoints until the race is at least 0.62 miles long, I think. Uh, just until that red warning icon goes away at the bottom right. And there you go, as you can see it went away, so from here you just want to test the race. Then just accept this alert here and then open up your pause menu, go to online and go on to choose character. In this menu here, you just want to delete your female character on the right, so make sure it is your female that you're deleting, not your male. So press the button to delete, then type delete to confirm if you're on PC, or just do whatever it tells you to do if you're on PlayStation or Xbox, and then it should be deleted. From here though, for next gen, what you need to do is you need to join someone in a different targeting mode to you, and it should take you to story mode, uh, but for old gen and PC, what you need to do is just press B or circle to back out to story mode. And then in story mode, you want to start a new online invite only session. Now once you've loaded in, all you need to do is go into the clothing store and then go ahead and save this. So save it uh, at the bottom, your outfit that you chose to keep. From here just go to the cargo pants on the pants section and equip any of the cargo pants that you want to turn into joggers. So it works with all of these, I'll just be using these aqua camos just to show you. Uh, but what you do need to do is go onto boots and equip any boots that tuck these uh, pants in. So they look like joggers. So you need to equip any boots that tuck them in. Just like this. And once you have those, you also want to choose the top that you want on your outfit with the joggers. Also equip whichever gloves you want on your outfit too. And don't worry, you can also uh, keep doing this over and over to get all the joggers, uh, but you don't have to do all the first steps, you just do this next step here. So from here, all you want to do is bookmark this job called It's a G Thing. So I'll leave a link to it in the description. You want to bookmark it, restart your game obviously, and then it should be on the bookmarked missions, and then just start it up. In this menu, set the clothing to player saved outfits, and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu here, scroll one to the right and then ready up. As you can see, you'll also have the belt on this outfit too. Um, and then from here, you want to go to any apartment wardrobe. Once you've made it to your apartment wardrobe, just go ahead and save this outfit, but you want to save it at the bottom. So any slot that isn't slot number one, and then save it, name it whatever you want to name it. And then you can just quit the job using your phone or just go into creator and then start up a new online invite only session. Now you will be able to equip the outfit using your interaction menu and it will be fully saved. Uh, but from here I'll show you also uh, that you can keep on doing this to get all the cargo joggers. So each time you do this, you can use a different pair of cargo pants to get the joggers. So I'll use these white ones here, or the light grey they're called, but they're basically white. Uh, so yeah, go on boots, and then make sure you tuck them in with the boots. Then equip your gloves and the top you want, and then start up It's a G thing. Set the clothing to player saved outfits, and then invite anyone and start it up. Again, just go one to the right on the owned outfit and then ready up. So 
So every time you do this, it's just the same as usual. So head over to any apartment wardrobe. In the wardrobe, just go ahead and save this. Uh, so save it to any slot that isn't slot number one. And then just quit a job using your phone or go into creator and then start a new online invite only session. But anyway, there you go. That's how you do this. Uh, obviously, you can keep doing this, uh, repeating it to get all the cargo joggers in the game. You can also do this to get the checkered cargo joggers. So you just equip these checkered cargos right here and then also equip some boots to make sure they tuck into the boots. And you can also use this as well. So you just equip this before doing the job. It's a G thing and saving it. Next up, I'll show you how to get the glitched Gorka joggers and Tron pants. So to start off with this glitch, you will first want to come to any clothing store on the map and then you want to put all your money in your bank, so make sure it is in your bank. And then what you need to do is go up to your saved outfits and equip the saved outfit that you would like to keep, as by doing a glitch it will delete all your saved outfits. And then from here just delete all your saved outfits yourself as it will make sure nothing messes up. Uh, regardless though, they do get deleted, even if you try and keep them. But from here, open up your pause menu, head over to swap character. Now in this menu here you want to make sure your main character is a male and on the left slot or else it will not work. But from here you want to make a new female character in the right slot here. And then if you do get this alert in a moment, yeah this one, you want to accept this alert. And then in the editing section just make sure you set it to a female if it isn't. Then from here you want to press save and continue, then name the character anything and you should load into a public session. Once you load in you want to check to see if you have any clothing stores, if you don't just find a new session. When you load in this time you should notice you have clothing stores on the map so head over to any clothing store. In the clothing store you just want to head over to the back onto the accessories menu. So at the back right of the store go on accessories. And you need to take off any accessories that come with the outfit so most standard outfits come with earrings. Uh, so you want to take those off if you have any. This one didn't come with any accessories uh, but from here to start off with the uh, outfit you want to first go to gloves and equip the light woodland armoured. So these ones here, light woodland armoured, then head over to the shoe section and head down to the high heel boots, then go for the deluxe midnight combat boots. After you have those equipped you want to head over to the uh, pants section. Then on this menu here go on to sports pants and equip the first ones here, so the spotted muscle pants. Then once you have those go on to tops. On here just head down to the gun running t-shirts. So go up to gun running t-shirts, then go for the last one which is the blue digital t-shirt. So this one here, number 60. Now after you have this go up to work jackets, and then head down to the peach camo closed field, and equip that one. So just down here the peach camo closed field, equip this, and then go ahead and save this. Uh, you want to save it to slot number 2. And then if you want to, just name it anything. Then from here you want to go on to tops again. And then this time head down to the tactical jackets. And equip the khaki tactical at the bottom here. Number 79. Now after you've equipped that, head down to bikinis. And then you want to go for the black bikini. So this one up here, the black bikini. Then once you have this, you want to go ahead and save this. Uh, just save it underneath the other outfit, so to slot number 3. And uh, name it whatever you want to. Uh, or if, just to make it easier, just name it the same as I do. And uh, once you have that, you should have both the outfits complete now, so just make sure they are the same as these. Now from here, just take the easy way out using your pause menu to force the game to save. When you load back in, just open up your pause menu, go to online and then start up creator. In this menu, hit create a race and then go to land race. Now go on to race details and the title, description and photo do not matter so they can be anything. 
So do those, and then what does matter is you need to set max players to three, and then set the route type to point to point, and then if you want to choose any supercar just to make it a bit quicker, and then from here warp to the airport. Now over here place gun placement, and you want to place the trigger anywhere, and then take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now place checkpoints, and you want to place it until the race is at least 0.62 miles long, so until that red warning icon goes away. Once you've done that, just test the race. Then just accept this alert here, then open up your pause menu, go to online and then go on to choose a character. In this menu here, you just want to delete your female character. Now from here, if you are on next gen, what you need to do is you need to join someone in a different targeting mode in an online session. So either through your friends list or wherever. Uh, however, if you're on PC or, or old gen, just press B or circle to back out to story mode. On next gen, if you do join someone in a different targeting mode, it should just take you straight to story mode. Now in story mode, you just want to start up a new online invite only session. When you load into online, all you want to do is just go ahead and save this outfit, so the one you chose to keep. You can just go ahead and save this, uh, but save it to slot number 20 at the bottom. You should also notice that the outfits from the female have transferred over, so from here you want to go onto the Gorka suits, and then equip any of these uh, Gorka pants that you want to turn into joggers. Or if you want to get a glitched Tron pants, just equip any of the Deadline outfits. So choose any of these, it works with all of them, and you can repeat this glitch over and over at uh, this last part of the glitch to get all the joggers. Also equip the gloves you would like on your outfit, and then from here you want to go to Online Jobs, Play Job, Bookmarked, go to Missions, and you will need to start up Hitch a G thing, so you need to bookmark this. I'll leave a link to it in the description, uh, so bookmark it, restart your game, and then start this up. Or if you have it bookmarked already, just start it up straight away. And then in this menu, set the clothing to player saved outfits, and then invite anyone and start this up. Now on owned outfit, you want to scroll two to the right, then one back to the left, then just ready up. And if you're doing this to get the glitched Tron pants, it's the exact same, so two to the right, then one back to the left, and you should get these glitched Tron pants. And the rest of the steps are the same if you use the Tron pants or the Gorka joggers. Now in the mission all you need to do is just go to any one of your apartments so you'll need to know where they are as they don't show up on the minimap. Inside your apartment you just want to go up to the apartment wardrobe. And then go ahead and save this outfit to any slot, just make sure it isn't in slot number 1. Uh, so make sure it's below the Gorka 1 and 2 outfits you made. And then from here just quit the job using your phone. When you spawn in, you can go ahead and equip the outfit you just saved, and you'll notice uh, it's fully saved, it fully works. Anyway, from here, I'll show you how to get all the regular joggers. Now, the first joggers I'll show you how to get in this video are going to be the easiest ones to get in the game, and these are the tan joggers, so you need to come to this exact clothing store on the map. Open up your interaction menu, register as a CEO, then head down to the map lip options, set your jobs to custom, and you want to show the stunt races. So, one should appear next to you. From here, you want to go to your CEO style on management. Switch over to the Warlord outfit. If you do have a duffel bag on your outfit, you just want to remove it and then re-equip the Warlord outfit. From here, go next to you onto the blue circle and press right D-pad to start up the stunt race. From here, you should load into the first menu. On the first menu, hit confirm settings and then press play.
On this menu here, you want to hit confirm and continue. But in this next menu, you just want to quit. When you load back in, you want to go into the clothing store, press right D-pad to get onto any menu, and then wait on here until you get kicked off of the menu. Now that you've been kicked off the menu, you just want to retire from your CEO, and then from here you can change the top hat and the shoes, anything you want to, add gloves, make your own nice outfits with this. Anyway, that's how you get these tan joggers, now onto the next joggers. Next up are the black joggers, so for this you want to go to your MOC, you want to go to this computer at the back of your MOC, then start up the mission called Work Dispute on that computer. From here you need to invite someone and then start it up. You'll spawn in with the black joggers on your outfit, so from here you want to go to one of your apartments in the mission, you'll need to know where it is as it won't show up on the minimap. Once you're here, just place a sticky bomb over on this blue circle. And then blow yourself up. Once you spawn back in, you want to go over to the blue circle. But this time it should let you into your apartment. Now in your apartment, you want to head down to your wardrobe, or wherever it is, and then go and save it in your wardrobe. Once you have this outfit saved, you want to quit the job using your phone, and you can equip it using your interaction menu, and you'll have the black joggers fully saved. Anyway, on to the next joggers. Next up, I'm going to show you how to get the red joggers. So you want your friend to start up that mission we just played called Work Dispute, the one we used to get the black joggers. You want someone else to start it up, so they need to go to their MOC and the computer and start Work Dispute. Then they need to invite you, and you just want to join. So make sure you are the person to join, not the host. From here, get a person helping you to start it up. In the job you should spawn in with the outfit with the red joggers, so from here you want to go to any one of your apartments. Now just do the same as the black joggers, so place a sticky bomb, blow yourself up on the blue circle. Now when you spawn in you should be able to go inside of your apartment. In your apartment, just go ahead and save it in the wardrobe. So save it to any slot, name it whatever you want to name it. And then quit the job using your phone after you've saved it. Now when you load in, you can equip that same outfit using your interaction menu and it will be fully saved with the red joggers. From here you can customise it as much as you want to. Next up I'm going to show you how to get the orange and purple joggers with the orange and purple bulletproof helmet using the same method. So you'll need to bookmark a certain job for PlayStation and Xbox, I'll leave both the links in the description. Anyway getting into it, this is what a job looks like for Xbox Series X, so I'll leave a link to this in the description for you to bookmark. And I'll also leave a link to the PlayStation uh, link for you to bookmark. Anyway, after you have the job bookmarked, you now want to load into GTA 5 online, or restart your game if you are already loaded in. Make sure you set your spawn location to last location, then go to jobs, play job, rock, go to bookmarked, head down to the last team standing, and it should be this one here for Xbox Series X. And I'm pretty sure it's the same on PlayStation. Just start whatever job you bookmarked, whether it was the PlayStation 1 or the Xbox 1, depending on your console, obviously. In this menu here, you just want to invite anyone and start it up. Now the host is going to be the one who gets the orange bulletproof helmet and the orange joggers, so that is you who's starting it. Now if you do it on the purple bulletproof helmet or the purple joggers, you will need to get a friend or someone to help you uh, to start this up and then invite you. Then in this menu here, all you need to do is ready up and then load into the mission.
you load in, what you'll notice is it switches to this adversary mode outfit with the coloured helmet you chose. So if you're on the other team, you'll have the purple version and the purple joggers. Um, we have the orange and the orange joggers. So what you want to do is equip any gloves. So scroll to the right on your gloves in your interaction menu. And then from here, you can quit the job using your phone. Now back to the video, you should load into online. What you'll notice is you load in with the outfit from inside of that job. So from here, you can go and save it in a clothing store and you can take off the top shoes, whatever, and you can customize this to make your own nice outfits. So next up, I'm going to show you how to get a grey joggers in GTA 5 online. Uh, so to start off, you want to go to your facility, then go on to this high setup here called Escort ULP. So it might not be on your current heist, um, but it is on this heist here, the Doomsday Scenario. But just check to see if you have this uh, set up. In this menu, just make sure the heist clothing is set up from selection and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu here, you now want to switch to the outfit with the grey joggers. So it will be the machine under the high tech impact outfit style. And then just hit ready to play. When you spawn in on foot, all you need to do is just eliminate yourself. In this menu, the person who has joined you, all they need to do is press continue. And then you do not want to press anything. But you want to wait for this uh, menu to disappear. And you should notice a orange loading circle at the bottom right. So just like this, from here, you need to disconnect your controller. Now wait on this alert until the person helping you has joined into their session so they'll need to tell you when they've loaded back in. Once they've told you they've loaded back in, you just need to reconnect your controller. You'll notice you've loaded in and you should have no minimap. Um, also apparently this doesn't work on next gen consoles uh, but it should work on old gen and PC I believe. But stick around until the end of the video as I will be showing a method to get the grey joggers on next gen. Anyway in the mission just go to any ammunition store. In here, just go on the gear section in the middle, equip an earpiece. Now you want the person who's in the mission with you uh, to completely close out of GTA 5, so close that application. Once they have quit GTA 5 completely, what you need to do is join someone in another GTA Online session. Now you should load in with the outfit here with the grey joggers. So from here you can take off the top shoes and whatever and be left with just the grey joggers. Next up I'm going to show you how to get the rest of the joggers in the game. So that includes the blue, the pink and the white joggers. So to start off you want to have any pair of coloured joggers. So the easiest ones to get are the tan joggers. Um, which I showed you how to get at the start of the video. So just equip those. Now with the tan joggers just equip some black sneakers. So the black plain high tops will do. And then also equip a regular black t-shirt or charcoal t-shirt. From here you want to go ahead and save this outfit. And then name this outfit the same as I do, so name it C1 and make sure there's a slot available underneath. After you have it saved, you want to go to the pants section and head down to cargo pants. Now I'm going to leave a link to a list in the description on which cargo pants equal which joggers. So for me, I'm going to get the white joggers. So I'm going to use the Moss Digital Cargo. And the green joggers will be the blue digital cargo. Then if you want the blue joggers, equip the four cargo. And the pink joggers will be the grey digital cargo. From here, name this C2 and save it under C1. From here, equip C1 and then exit the clothing store. Once you're out here, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to style, parachute, set it to on, and make sure you set it to the classic shoot bag. Once you have it on, you should get an orange loading circle just to save the game. From here, you're going to need either two consoles with the same version of GTA, or a friend to help you 
uh, who can log into your account on their console with the same version of GTA. And from here, you want to start up a program called NetCut, which you can get on PC, laptop, or Android. The link for that will be in the description. On this menu, just locate your console. So sometimes it will just say the console name, so it'll be easy to find. If it doesn't say your console name, you'll have to find the MAC address of your console in settings and then match it up with the MAC address on the list of devices using your Wi-Fi. So once you've found your console, you want to press the blue Wi-Fi icon and it should go red and go to the top left. Now from here, just head over to your second console or your friend's console. On this console, log into your account and then load up the same version of GTA. And you want to load straight into story mode. Then in story mode, start up a new online invite only session. When you load in, open up your interaction menu, go to style, switch to the C2 outfit, and then re-equip your parachute on this C2 outfit. And after you've done this, it should save. So from here, you want to quit to story mode. Once you load into story mode, you just want to quit GTA. So close GTA completely and then sign out of your account. From here, switch back over to your first console. You should still be logged in. Uh, so from here, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to style, parachute. You want to take it off. You should get an orange loading circle, which won't go away until you reconnect your net gut. So on here, just press the red Wi-Fi icon on your console and it should go back to blue. It should go back to the middle as well. And it's fully reconnected now. So your game should save. Now, if you're doing this on PlayStation, what will happen is usually you'll get kicked. So if you do get kicked, just load into story mode and then load into online and should have the white joggers or whatever joggers you chose. But for Xbox, we need to force an alert. So head over to your second console again. Log into your account again, start up GTA 5. It should say this alert here, so hit play here instead. And then head back over to your first console. And you should notice you get the same alert. So this time press play here instead. And then load straight into story mode. In story mode, just start up a new online invite only session. And as you can see here, you should spawn in with the joggers you chose. So from here, go to a clothing store and save them. Now feel free to repeat this to get all the joggers in the game. Yeah, that's how you do this. So that's how you get all the joggers. And that is also how you get all the glitched pants. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. That's all up to you though. But thank you for watching. Have a great day or night and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.